And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, another cool day today with temperatures only reaching the low 30s throughout much of the viewing area. But there is another round of snow headed our way. Good news is minor accumulations are expected with the system. And then we can look forward to a nice spike in temperatures. For right now, staying dry and cool, however, throughout the viewing area. Looking from west from our Renaissance camera, you can see a few breaks in the clouds there. We are staying dry in Lafayette, hitting a high temperature of just 31 degrees. That's 8 degrees below average for this time of the year. And our temperature right now, the same. Winds are currently from the north at 8 miles per hour. That current wind chill, 23 degrees. Feeling pretty chilly out there, to say the least. But at least for the most part, we're not seeing any of that snowfall, at least quite yet. A couple isolated snow showers for the far western portion of the viewing area at this hour with heavier snowfall camped out west of I-57 in Illinois. We'll get a better look at that here in our precision tracker radar. You see this nice wave of moisture that's all kicking in our direction. Now we shouldn't see as far as a whole lot of accumulation from this system. In fact, as it marches its way eastward out of a weak cold front that remains just off to the west, you can see that nice wave of moisture spanning parts of Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin, Michigan, even up into Canada. That system will continue to roll eastward throughout the evening hours, breaking up as it moves along. So a couple isolated areas of some heavier snowfall, but for the most of us, maybe a dusting at most. You can see a, not a whole lot of organization to the system. This is by 11 p.m. The last of the snowfall should kick to the east of us by about midnight or 1230 early tomorrow morning. As far as those accumulations go, here comes our precision snow cast. You can see some, much of the viewing area, especially the southern half of the region, very little snow chances. It's our far northwestern and northern portions of the region. We could be dealing with anywhere between a tenth of an inch to maybe even as much as three tenths of an inch of snowfall by early tomorrow morning. Your snapshot Shot forecast viewer submission, a beautiful backdrop here. Gorgeous waves, the sunset there, 30 degrees by 7 p.m., falling to 25 by midnight. The snow coming to an end at that time. In fact, that 25 degree temperature will be your overnight low temperature tonight into early tomorrow morning. Temperatures remain relatively stable ahead of this cold front. Once that cold front moves through by early tomorrow morning, early tomorrow afternoon, eventually we're looking at some drier, clearer conditions moving in, decreasing cloud cover, but because of the cooler air mass, lack of solar, radi solar radiation on the front end of the system, not looking at temperatures much warmer for tomorrow. In fact, a high temperature of just 33 degrees in Lafayette tomorrow. But you may have noticed that warm front off to the west of us gradually marching its way towards us. Well, that means warmer temperatures ahead. So we reach a high temperature of just 33 on Wednesday. Thursday, check out that high of 40 degrees. Temperatures bounce back and forth between the mid to upper 30s, low 40s during Thursday evening. Then you begin to really jump. We're hitting a high temperature of 58 degrees on Friday afternoon. A couple isolated rain showers are a possibility. Saturday looking clearer, drier, 53, mostly sunny Saturday. Sunday falling to 53, all the way back down to 34. And then the 30s return just in time for the beginning of the next work week. I know it's only Tuesday, but we definitely are looking forward I to Friday. I think everyone is looking forward <laughs> to Friday. All right, thanks. Yeah. Just ahead with the cold temperatures.